Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Riley King, and welcome to the Riley King Newscast, right here on the Riley King Network. Let's begin. First up, injured hiker rescued in White Mountains. New Hampshire Fish and Game Department says an injured hiker had to be rescued in the White Mountain National Forest. Authorities say the 56-year-old man suffered a non-life-threatening injury while hiking down Dickey Mountain on the Welch and Dickey Loop Trail on Saturday. Rescuers from around the area carried the man down the trail in a litter. The department's conservation officers are reminding hikers that hiking in the White Mountain require proper planning and preparation. They say all hikers should carry essential equipment to be prepared for the intended hike and other issues that could arise. Ride honoring Randolph victims draws thousands of motorcyclists to state. Thousands of motorcyclists rode from Laconia to Randolph on Saturday to the site where seven bikers were killed in a collision with a truck last month. More than 3,000 bikers from as far away as California and Florida participated in the 90-mile tribute trip, a memorial service was held in a field just beyond the crash site. The seven bikers were killed when a pickup truck hauling a flatbed trailer crashed into the group. All the bikers were members of or supporters of the Jarrahead's Motorcycle Club, which is composed of Marine veterans. The Broken Spook in Laconia hosted the huge crowd of motorcyclists for Saturday's ride before the journey that traveled on the Interstate 93 and some back roads where riders were saluted by strangers. The ride brought the motorcycle and veteran community together as one for going friendship and new family out of tragedy. The driver of the pickup truck involved in the crash, 23-year-old Vladimir Zaslowski, has pleaded not guilty to seven counts negligent homicide and remains behind bars. Those Killed were Michael Ferenze, 62, of Kentucky, Albert Mazar, Jr., 59, of Lee, Demaz Oaks, 42, of Concord, Aaron Perry, 45, of Farmington, Daniel Perera, 58, of Riverside, Rhode Island, and Joanne and Edward Hoare, both 58, of Lakeville, Massachusetts. Indonesia rocked by 6.9 magnitude earthquake. A 6.9 earthquake hit off the coast of Indonesia on Saturday, the U.S. Geological Survey reported. And that does it for this afternoon edition of the Riley King Newscast right here on the Riley King Network. I hope you all have a great rest of your afternoon, and I'll see you back here later on today for another newscast. Goodbye, everyone.